What's up guys, Chris here from Security Bros, back with another video. And in this video I will show you how to find and access an IP camera with a static IP address. So most consumer IP cameras these days comes with DHCP enabled by default from factory. And you don't have to do anything, you can just plug them into your network and access the cameras. However, there is also a lot of IP cameras that comes with a static IP address from factory. Like Hikvision, Dawa and many other brands. Which means when you connect the camera to a network, you can't find or access it because they are on different IP ranges. For example, let's say your router's IP address is 192.168.0.1 and the camera's is 192.168.1.64. This means they can't communicate since they are not on the same IP range. So what we first need to do is find the static IP address of the camera. Usually you will find the IP address written on the sticker on the camera or if it's a known brand you can just google what default IP address they use. Most of the time security cameras also comes with a discovery tool software that you can use to find the camera on your network which even allows you to change the network settings. If you can't find the camera's IP address, you can use programs like Wireshark that will help you find the IP address, but that's for another video. So now when we know the camera's IP address, we need to temporarily change the computer's IP address to a similar one in the same IP range as the camera, so we can access it through a web browser and change any network settings we want. For example, turn on DHCP. And to do that, we go to network settings, then change adapter options, Right click on your connection and then properties. Here on the list click on Internet Protocol 4 and properties again. As you can see here the computer is set to obtain an IP address automatically. What we need to select is use the following IP address. Since we know the camera's IP address we need to set the computer's IP address in the same range as the camera so we can access it through a web browser. So my camera's IP address is 192.168.1.64 So I will just change the computer's IP address to 192.168.1.65 for example Just change the last number Now we click OK and then OK again And it will autofill the subnet mask and then click OK Now we can access the camera by typing the camera's IP address in a web browser And we can for example turn on DHCP when you are done changing the camera settings, don't forget to go back in your network settings and change your computer back to obtain an IP address automatically. Okay, that's all I had for this video. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I see you in the next one.